TotWorks Technology Radar Item Number 22 Planning for Full Utilization. Hold, hold this. So basically, the question that they ask here is whether when you are planning, let's take into example your sprint, two weeks, then you have three people, whether you should plan for full capacity, meaning taking into account vocations and all the predictable things, or whether you should plan for less capacity in advance, taking into account unexpected things like production issues, bugs, technical death, and, uh, and some additional updates that the team may come up with, with ideation, additional things. The results, and this is ThoughtWorks, I mean, they have uh, thousands of uh, professionals going all over around the world, con uh, working together with companies, so they see a lot of companies and they have experience with this. Um, so th the claim would be that it's better to plan for less capacity to take some buffer and not for full utilization. And in this way, uh, you would actually, by the end of the year or by the end of the uh, short term, you would see an increased throughput because, because if you plan for full capacity, you might see even a drop in throughput once these unexpected things uh, uh, come. So the claim is not that you are going to spend this additional buffer on other things and your throughput would be less. The claim is that overall your throughput would be better and you would end up with a better product, more testable, higher quality, that it's, it's just better. I'm not sure whether the root cause of the whole of this story is actually the, the, the capacity versus the, the, the velocity or whether the way that teams handle agile uh, does not always take into account the unexpected things because you could take them uh, into account and uh, you could you could make a, I mean agile also means that uh, that you would have better uh, testability better technical and that the team would own the things uh, so the, the root cause might not be this but this appears to be solving at least some of this. Okay, so let's read this. ThoughtWorks item number 22, planning for full utilization. Hold. Meaning, uh, hold on this. Don't really, don't, don't do this too much. While the practice of creating excess capacity in the delivery process is well known in the product management community, we still see far too many teams planning for full utilization of team members. Reserving some capacity during sprint planning generally leads to better predictability and better quality. It promotes team resilience to unexpected events like illness, production issues, unexpected product requests, and technical debt, while also allowing productive activities like team building and ideation that can lead to product innovation. Running at Less than full utilization means teams can be more thoughtful about the robustness of the resulting software. Yeah, it, it gives some some brief. I mean, it gives some brief, uh, some room for developers to think outside the, the, the box and not know that, oh my God, I have three days for the feature, let's complete this. So it gives them some room for thought, for improvements, for, for quality. Running at less than full utilization means teams can be more thoughtful about the robustness of the resulting software and pay closer attention to the right observability signals. Our experience is that fully utilized team leads to a collapse in throughput as well, just as a fully utilized highway creates slow and demoralizing traffic, for example. When one of our teams had an unpredictable support issues, they saw a 25% increase in throughput. So actually, they had here an increase in throughput, and this is based on only two of the three developers. So, so they planned for a capacity of only two out of three. They, they said, we have only two developers, not three. And when they had unpredictable support issues, they saw a 25% increase in throughput and 50% decrease in cycle time volatility. So they had a decrease, or major decrease of 50% in volatility. Uh, by planning the velocity only based on two out of three developers. So they planned for two out of three developers, they had better throughput, and they had much less volatility. So item number 22, 
planning for full utilization, hold this, don't do this.